My name is Ian Rose. At the age of six months, I developed childhood eye cancer. As a consequence of that, I lost the sight in my left eye and most of the sight in my right. And I became one of the 11 million people in the UK living with a disability. At the age of seven, I was being teased about the way I looked, which was affecting my self-esteem and confidence. My parents then introduced me to the martial art of judo, and it quite literally changed my life and in my opinion, gave me a life. 13 years later, I represented Great Britain in the Barcelona Paralympics. I then went on to compete in Atlanta, Sydney, Athens and Beijing, winning two medals. These were some of the proudest sporting moments in my life. When I found out about the Disability Karate Federation, I wanted to find out more about how they were affecting lives, just like mine, in a safe sporting environment for the disabled. So here we are today at Style Laker T2. Let's go and see what the guys are doing. Hello. So who have we got here then? What's your name? Jenny, nice to meet you. Hello there. Hello Catherine, how Hello. are you? Nice and smart you guys. I, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Nice yeah. to meet you. Shake my hand. Hello, Hello, how are you? Well, I thought I was here today to learn a bit of karate, Leslie, but it looks like you're challenging me at pool, mate. Yeah. Um, well, let's have a go, shall we? Yeah, you break them. Everyone's been very welcoming. So how does karate benefit these guys and help them overcome some of their everyday challenges? Hi, Ian Rose. Hi, Ian. Ray. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you too. Well, thank you very much for inviting me along today. I'm uh, keen to see what goes on. But uh, firstly, can you uh, explain to me about the Disability Karate Federation, please? Yeah, the Disability Karate Federation is growing. We're going from strength to strength. Uh, soon we should have around 2,000 members. Um, for us, it's all about uh, creating inclusion and trying to make opportunities for uh, disabled people in sport. We do that by trying to build good coaching practice, training up new coaches and spreading karate throughout the whole of the country for disabled people. What's going to be involved in the, uh, the class today? What are we going to be doing? What we'll be working on is uh, doing techniques for their next grading, so we'll be looking at the techniques for their next belts. Well, it only leaves us to say, let's go for it then, shall we? Yeah, great. Let's do it. Po! Po! Ju! Ju! Step left, left, punch! Why do you do karate, Amanda? It makes me feel good and it makes you laugh and I enjoy it and it's just a good feeling. Why do you think they affect you in such a good way? It makes me feel like, uh, really like, it makes me feel like I'm really clever and oh. really like, I'm kind of cool. I could prove to show somebody how I can do it. You can come and join in, yeah. Union. Oh. 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 So we step forwards with the left leg and your fists come up. Styleacre is one of the many charities for disabled people that the Federation visits. <laughs> when it comes to young children, how does the Federation achieve results in schools where often there is a diverse selection of abilities? We're here at Mabel Pritchard just about to start a karate session. I thought we'd have a chat to the kids first to find out how karate makes them feel. I mean, we're Byron, actually. How does karate make you feel, mate? What do you feel like when you're doing karate with uh, Sensei? I'm like um, doing this. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and this. Do you enjoy doing it with your mates? Yes, I do, yeah. Oh, Thank brilliant. you. Oh. Can you show me a punch that Sensei taught you? Yeah. Go on, then. Go. Yeah. Whoa, OK. And what about the other arm? Can you do it the other arm as well? Yeah. Watch your teacher. Okay. <laughs> Watch me. Oh, make that sound again. Do that again. <laughs> Oh. Ray, how do you how do you work out programs for these guys? And, you know the training they're going to do. There's variable types of things that we do, but the simple thing is try to encourage movement. Yes. Okay, so that they move for themselves rather than me moving them. Right. And one of the ways to do that is by counting. Four, five, nine, ten. So how did the connection between the school and the Disability Karate Federation come about? <laughs> when did you first meet Sensei Ray and what have you been doing since then? Well, it was at a, um, a Parability Sports Day and there were a number of sports being offered. One of them was karate. Wow. And the children so enjoyed it that afterwards I spoke with Ray and I said, any chance of you coming up to school again? Ray said, the thing about karate is that it needs to be something that is ongoing. If the children really enjoyed it, we've got to find a way of making this become a regular part of their education. 
Has there been any effects on the kids' emotions? The children have shown levels of focus and self-control. Initially, these were things that we had not seen them do, and yet they've learned them as part of the ritual to prepare for karate. At Mabel Pritchard School, most of the children have individual carers. Have they seen any physical or mental changes? A lot of the children have got limited mobility in their, in their arms and in their legs. It helps them to increase that and practice moving their arms and moving their hands in different ways yeah. and really increase their confidence in using them. And that's the word, isn't it? Confidence. Have you seen any sort of improvements or, or changes within these guys that, that you know, you can, you can sort of put your finger on and say, well, actually, you know, this has happened. Like little Jake's really struggles with using his right hand. He doesn't use it at all, but obviously doing the karate, that really helps him. Six. Oh, not oh, me! Oh, 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 oh missed! <laughs> How much of this could Jamie do before he started karate? Comes to that point where he's actually counting. Slowly we would bring that back, so get to seven maybe, and then we right. get to eight and nine and ten. Well, I'm back at Style Laker T2 to meet some friends we met a while ago. Let's go and see what they've been doing. There's an excited atmosphere here today. It's the day the guys and girls are going to do their grading exams. This is the day that they've been working so hard for, the day when they will receive their next coloured belts. Now I'm a judo coach and, uh, and one of the things we have issues with sometimes, and we have to make a big point of this on a judo mat, is they do not use judo off the judo mat. Is that a, a worry in the school or has it ever been a problem? What's been remarkable is they'll use their skills calmly within the lessons with Ray, but never outside. It's really lovely to see. The Disability Karate Federation has adapted karate techniques to ensure everybody can participate and steadily improve and advance. It's good for self-esteem and it's good for self-confidence. Some people have asked me if I'd have done as much in my life if I hadn't had a disability. All I can say is sport has given me the discipline and the confidence to do most of the stuff I do today. No!